All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and as you guys can see, we have made it up to stage 120 of Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening event. Now, things have started to get a little bit difficult. Uh, we've reached the point where several of the units are no longer able to really tank as effectively as they were. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, in particular, is now a huge detriment. It's kind of like when I was doing the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Extreme Z Awakening event, where at a certain point, Angel Golden Freeze was just taking like 100k from normal attacks. We haven't quite gotten to that point, but Super Saiyan 3 Bardock does get beat up quite a bit. Uh, so rotations where I have two of them, like what's going to happen in the next rotation, uh, are very, very troublesome. Now, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks is still able to reduce damage by a good amount. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 uh, EZA Goku is able to reduce damage by a good amount. And same with the Transforming Goku. These three units still are holding up absolutely fine. Trunks took 60... Oh, ho, ho, that's big. Uh, Trunks took 16k right there. But after he super attacks, he starts, you know, he builds up his defense and he's able to defend a little bit better. Uh, Zeno Goku, despite the fact that he does activate guard, uh, is starting to take, you know, some significant damage. Uh, and then Super Saiyan 3 of Vegeta, you know, the SCR EZA one, of course, he is still holding up exceptionally well uh, defensively. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, okay, that works out perfect. Yes, that's. <laughs> that's very good. Um, we don't have to worry about both Bardocks getting attacked. Uh, that is worst case scenario. Like, if the attacks were spread out all over the place, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Uh, Bardock's going to get hit twice at, at the end, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but one thing to uh, t uh, keep in mind is that as our health falls really low on this team, the attack power shoots way up because the Super Saiyan 3 Bardocks at that point activate their passive uh, the 40% attack buff to super type allies uh, when HP is 70% or below. Uh, we're in trouble if Vegeta super attacks Bardock, by the way. Mm. All right, let's see what happens. If Vegeta super attacks, it's going to cut a good deal of our health off. Okay, this might... I think this might be the first L I take. I don't think I've lost on this, this uh, EZA yet. Eh, maybe not. I, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Just as long as I keep uh, EZA EGL Goku from getting uh, stunned by Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Super Attack, we're good to go. And boom, yep, Trunks is a completely able to defend, uh, you know, and then he's building up his Super Attack. Does he build his Super Attack up for six, or his uh, defense up for six turns after he supers? Uh, wh when we hop back in, I'm going to check that real quick. If he builds his defense up for three turns or six turns, I think he builds it up for six turns. Uh, which allows him to really stack it a couple of times. And, like, you know, if we get that Super Saiyan 3 Trunks in the first rotation, uh, then he's going to hold up pretty good uh, for several turns. So, uh, let's go ahead and see uh, if that is the case or not. Uh, oh, oh no, what? Okay, that's pretty rare. Usually, there's 100% Super Saiyan 3 Bardocks all over the place, but uh, evidently, there's not one. It's only, you know, one dupe path off, but it still is, you know, a little bit of defensive power, uh, which would be nice to have. Okay, we got Trunks in the first rotation. Absolutely beautiful. And we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well. Uh, all right, so Trunks uh, looks like he built it up for six turns. Okay, yeah. So he's really able to hold that for a good long time, uh, which will allow him to defend uh, quite well. That's very good for Trunks uh, in going through not only this EZA, but also the legendary Super Saiyan Broly EZA. Uh, that Super Saiyan 3 Trunks is going to be good in both of those. So, you know, when that Broly EZA comes back, we definitely will be able to have him uh, with his defensive viability. Did it guard activate? No, it did not. Okay. Uh, that's the only problem with the Trunks, of course, is, you know, it is RNG if his guard ability does activate. Whoa! <laughs> yep, yep, there it is. AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, as long as he gets his super attacks off, we're good to go. Because he he hits, like, pretty much the hardest of any unit I've used uh, in all of these EZA events, like, moving forward. I can't think of another unit that was hitting, like, harder than him. Uh, okay, so... Uh, this will be scary if 
uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock gets super attack. And again, Xeno Goku at the end, he, he is starting to take, you know, uh, around 20k-ish uh, in damage. Although our health is below 70%, it looks like, because Bardock was up at a 2 million attack set. So, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta will be able to hit pretty hard. Yep, 1.4 million. Very good, considering he has no, like, percentage attack buff or anything from his passive. That's pretty much just his natural attack stat at work right there. Shows how impressive uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is. And even 1.5 from Xeno Goku. Also very good. Uh, and if Xeno Goku got super attacked, we'd be okay. Uh, all right. Oh, hey, look at this. We're getting a transformation. Uh, I, I have transformed a couple of times uh, to the Super Saiyan 2 state. But I have not really been transforming. Uh, we're always going to lead off with Trunks, by the way. Uh, I, I can't lead off with uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, the reason for that is, you know, if Vegeta super attacks and stuns uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, just like that, by the way, uh, that could lead to an L. Uh, because that stun, just exactly like that, uh, is a problem. So I just want to try and avoid that with Super Saiyan 3 Goku as much as possible. Uh, now, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, in this event, he could have a turn where he could output like 11 million damage. Uh, if Super Saiyan 3 Bardock had his passive active and, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku got like a double, like a double super attack and a crit on both, the amount of damage he's putting up is like probably enough to pretty much one turn, uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So, you know, if, if later on when the, you know, the boss's power is just overwhelming, there's the possibility that you could get like a golden rotation where you would have like a double Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and EZA Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the second rotation. Say you get beat up in the first turn, and then AGL Goku basically could do a Hail Mary in the second turn. So that is possible, because uh, he just does so much damage. Um, Okay, so we can push Super Saiyan 3 Bardock off rotation right here, because he's going to take the same amount of attacks, uh, regardless of if he was in the second or third slot. So that's very good. Uh, but again, you know, if Bardock gets tagged with a super attack, that's probably, like, especially now, like, we're really talking about the possibility of a GG happening. Uh, you know, Bardock is just doing way too much damage. Now, I haven't really thought of if I'm going to do another video on this yet. I feel like I could. Uh, I, you know, kind of like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA, I, I might be able to get to, like, 140, 150-ish. So I might do another video on this. Uh, we'll see, because I know Janemba's EZA comes out in, like, two days so uh, i don't know when the super saiyan 3 vegeta eza goes away it might leave before i have a chance uh to go further uh if it does you know not really too much of a big deal who has higher defense uh super saiyan 3 goku okay so we'll give him the orbs remember that you heal the amount that you heal from same type orbs is based upon how high your defense is so super saiyan 3 goku would heal more health for us that's why i gave him the agl orbs uh, rather than the Transforming Goku. If the Transforming Goku had had a higher defense, I would have given him those AGL orbs. Because uh, that's the other thing about going through these easy events. You have to maximize your healing from the same type orbs. That's a good way to keep you know the fights continuously going. And he just does so much damage. Cutting off huge chunks of Vegeta's health. How much damage will we take right here? 71k. Okay, okay. So... Anyone getting super attack is going to knock out a big fat chunk of health at this point. Ooh, nice. Also, don't forget that Super Saiyan Goku, you know, the transforming Goku, he does build up his attack and defense, uh, both of those, when he super attacks. So, you know, the longer this goes on, the more effective he will become. Uh, even if his, dam like, cause his damage reduction will go up, his defense goes down a bit, but he's still going to be, uh, again, incredibly effective uh, in this EZA event. I could, pro I still have not tried to use a double transforming go. Why don't we try it right now? Uh, let let's see if there's like a rainbow transforming Goku or a three dupe transforming Goku. If that's the case, we'll go ahead and try uh, that team right now. See how effective that can be. So on stage 123. So let's see. Let's see if we can find a good uh, transforming Goku. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, there's a rainbow one right there. Okay, cool, cool. So let's quickly just build a uh, Super Saiyan 3 team. And let's go ahead and try this, right? So we'll bring 
Transforming Goku, Easy A Goku. We got Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. Uh, I think we'll probably bring Xeno Goku and the GT Kid Goku. Uh, so Xeno Goku and GT Kid Goku. And let's go ahead and hop in and see how this goes. Uh, so I, I will want to hide uh, Xeno Goku as much as possible. He, he's probably going to take about as much damage as like the GT Kid Goku. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is not really the greatest start. Uh, here's the only issue. Of course, now we have two. Uh, both of these transforming units who don't really link up at all with anyone. Uh, I do want to prioritize super attacks for them, of course. Uh, so that we can have them build up that attack and defense. Because the other thing is, because we're using this, you know, double 120% lead uh, team, we may be in the fight a little bit longer than usual. We'll see how it goes down. Xeno Goku, yep, is going to get hit a lot harder because, well... No, I think our... No, 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 no. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, he gives 170% to defense, huh? So our defense should actually be a good deal lower uh, than it was before. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep the EGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku right there to avoid him getting hit. Uh, specifically because I don't really know how much damage he's going to take. Whereas we know Super Saiyan 3 Trunks can take the punishment at the end there. Ooh, yeah, only a 700,000 attack set, huh? That's not the greatest. He did do 800k damage. And then Super Saiyan 3 Goku is at 1.6 uh, on this team, rather than the 2.1 million that he usually is sitting at uh, on the Super Saiyan 3 team. So, I don't know. looks like the drop in stats uh, kind of equals out with uh, losing Super Saiyan 3 Bardock from the team, right? Although we do have to hide him, all the other units get weaker as well. Yeah, I think this might be better off with the Super Saiyan 3 category team. Uh, than trying it with the transforming Goku. Oh, well, that's very helpful. <laughs> that's a golden rotation right there where we have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and he gets hit every single time. Wow, that is very rare right there. So we're going to take no damage. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta will wash all of that away. Very good. Uh, and we'll, you know, continually have these Gokus... They're going to be defending. They're going to build up their attack and defense. I See, here's the thing. I really like the transforming units. I've heard some talk by some people lately that maybe they don't like the transforming units as much because they do tend to be a little bit weaker at the start of fights, right? And then they build up their power as the fights go on. And a lot of people don't like that, but I, I am actually uh, the opposite. I do really like that. The transforming units are very fun to use, in my opinion. All right, so we still made it through. I think the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock team might be a little bit better of an idea uh, rather than the double transforming Goku, at least, you know, past stage 100. Uh, transforming Goku will certainly be enough to get uh, you up to stage 30, though, you know, if, if you are doing it that way. So, all right, guys, I figure we'll go ahead and end up here, stage 124. Uh, I might try and get to, like, stage 145-ish or 140. Maybe we'll do another video. It, you know, it depends on if the event goes away really soon with Int Janemba's EZA dropping in a couple days. We'll see how it all goes. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.